Hey guys, Comic Book Girl 18 is now on Patreon. We'd like to thank all of our brand new patrons. We're two thirds of the way to our first goal. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to rebrand BS Movie News into Movie Balls. Movie Balls. Woo! Comic Corner on BS Movie News Live. Let's get started. Here it goes. So. First of all, I finally got issue number five of A-Force and I was able to read my A-Force comics. It's up to issue number six right now. Uh, I fucking love it now that Ben Caldwell has taken over. And then we also have uh, Thompson. I love her writing on this. Uh, there's fucking, okay, so get this dudes. Okay, get this, right? Thor Dazzler, oh my God. We have regular Dazzler and Thor Dazzler. Uh, and when Ben Caldwell picks it up, he gives uh, everybody a makeover. So Dazzler has a makeover. So now she's not wearing that stupid crap anymore. Her hair is like white and pink. The singularity has happened, okay? Like fucking I'm Dazzler, essentially. Uh, and that's the best. And so, yeah, A-Force is comprised. It's an all-female team of Avengers. Uh, we have Singularity. Uh, we have Nico Minoru from The Runaways. Dazzler, Captain Marvel, She-Hulk, and Medusa. I love the way he draws Medusa, like she's like really curvy. And then uh, She-Hulk and Medusa are always like yelling at each other because uh, they're trying to like, they're both leaders, you know? And then they go, they get drunk. They go to this place, they get drunk, they have fun. They punch this fucking giant serpent in the face, uh, fight a dragon. Dazzler has the Mpox, that's really sad. I hope she doesn't die, but then she, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on there. Uh, and then Hulk hulks out at this one. Oh my God, Hulk hulking out was like the best, like. Yeah, here we go. Like, she, she gets really giant. She's under mind control stuff. And so they're all like, oh! So yeah, A-Force, holy fuck. I really love A-Force. This, this is like written for me, man. Like, I'm just digging on A-Force. It's so much fun without being like, because some of these comics I've been reading that are like more girl friendly, like they're a little too girl friendly. And I'm like, this is like too much, but like, this is not too much, okay? This is just fun and awesome. And I love A-Force, uh, fucking big ups. And, okay, since you guys love Deadpool and Gambit, they're not my favorite characters, but Deadpool and Gambit, I saw this at the shop, number one. Uh, I actually really liked this, like, way more than I thought I would like this. I thought this was gonna be super dumb. Uh, but this was actually really a lot of fun. It's all about uh, these two idiots. And, like, that's, that's what I like about it, is, like, they're presented as idiots. Uh, and it's, like, their shenanigans that's been going on. It has this whole big fight scene where Deadpool's pretending to be Spider-Man, and then uh, Gambit's pretending to be Daredevil, and they have this like big fight throughout the city in order to like steal some stuff. But then they get fucked over, and then the guy who fucked them over originally comes back, and he's like, in a, I don't know. There's like a whole thing going on. It's really funny. Okay, like this was actually like I was legitimately laughing at this one. So yeah, surprisingly, I love Gambit versus Deadpool. So you guys should check it out if you're into that sort of business. Uh, we also have, uh, for ridiculous bullshit, Image Comics Grizzly Shark. It's about a shark that is in the woods that will eat you. Uh, it's like really graphic. <laughs> like, it's really cartoony and super dumb. Okay, this is like Grizzly Shark, super dumb. Okay, but if, if I like sharks, I don't know, I'm an asshole. So uh, I'm gonna do, yeah, they're supposed to be next month Grizzly Shark Returns instead of Jaws Returns, that's pretty funny. And then there's also Grizzly Shark and, and Sea Bear, apparently. There's a Sea Bear that's a bear in the ocean, so uh, I guess they're gonna team up. This is just for fun, this is for kicks if you're just bored. Uh, okay, then we also have, oh my God, so one of my favorite new Marvel fucking titles here. Jeff Lemire writing, Moon Knight, holy crap. Moon Knight was so good, I can't get over it. Okay, Moon Knight number two. I love Moon Knight number three. Or, oh man, look at that cover. This is the second printing though. But uh, yeah, man, this Moon Knight is so good. Okay, so if you don't know shit about Moon Knight, then you're fucking missing out, dude. This is like, he started off as a ripoff Batman, you know, in white, um, but he's evolved into so much more. Like now he's like this crazy person. Like he's like has mental problems. And, uh, and so in this incarnation, he wakes up and he's in like a mental institution and like everyone's saying, you're not really Moon Knight. You're not like a real, like you're just a crazy person. And they're giving him like shock therapy and stuff like that. Um, but he's on to them and he thinks like he sees these other people in the institution that he knew from his Moon Knight days. 
Um, and so, yeah, look, and then he, like, fucking gets out on the roof, and then he, like, sees, like, all this crazy shit. So he thinks that, like, Set is, like, taking over, and he's got to figure it out. But you don't know. He's an unreliable narrator. Like, you don't know if he's, like, a crazy person or not, which is, like, really cool. And the art is just, like, wow. Like, look at that. The doctor, her name is, like, Dr. Emmett, but he's, like, Amut, you know? Like, he's like no, you're really, like, associated with Amut, the, the goddess of uh, judgment. And, uh, yeah, so it's the Khonshu's in it. You know, the Khonshu gave him his powers. He's an Egyptian god of the moon. Uh, that's, moon Knight gets his powers from Egyptian weird shit, okay? So it's a, lot, it's a lot of extraneous stuff here. Go on Wikipedia, find out who Moon Knight is, and go pick up Moon Knight. It's fucking awesome. I really highly recommend it. And then, holy shit, I have been reading from Image this book called Monstrous, okay? Holy fucking shit. The art in this is, like, so... Look at this fucking cover. And, like, this is one of those comics where it looks just as good on the inside as it does on the outside, okay? And that is not the case with a lot of comics, all right? Like, this... Okay, speaking of Akira, all right, this has definitely got some, like, Akira flavor, but instead of... It's, like, high fantasy. It's not, like, Neo Tokyo techno bullshit. This is, like, high fantasy stuff. It takes place in this fantasy world where you have humans, and you also have these uh, creatures called Arcanum, which look like, you know, wolf people or winged people or devil people or whatever. And in the middle you have this girl uh, and she's like trying to figure out her past and she has like some fucking thing, like she's got some monster thing that's inside of her, like Akira, you know. Look, it like busts out of her arm, you know, and all these tentacles with eyeballs on it. So it's kind of like Akira mixed with HP Lovecraft, like mixed with like high fantasy manga stuff. Um, oh my god, Marjorie Liu and Santa Takeda. You chicks are just killing it. Like, look at this fucking art. Like, you gotta be shitting me. Like, what it, like, look at these interiors. Like, it's, it's insane. It's, look at this, look at this fucking eyeball guy. It's, like, so good. Um, so yeah, and, like, she's got this hunger inside of her, and she, like, wants to kill all these people with her fucking crazy arm. Anyways, Monstrous. It's up to number six. Uh, I feel like next month you're going to be able to get the trade. I think it says in the back here. Um, yeah. Volume one, Awakening. You want to check this out. Available July 2016. So yeah, next month you should be able to get the first six issues. Fuck you. Go pick up Monstrous. It's so awesome. If you want some awesome shit. So yeah, that's it for our Comic Corner today, and that's it for our BS Movie News Live. Thank you guys so much. We'll be back with more BS Movie News. All right.